Because of y'all like this, y'all probably think it's a real tattoo, but it's not. This is already coming off. It's a fake tattoo, so. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, y'all probably see, oh, I'm tired of that today. I'm going to give y'all some advice on about on your first day if you're a freshman in high school. And I know some of y'all are already back. Before we get started, just give me thumbs up on this video if you like it, if you want me to do more like these sometimes. When the only time I do this probably when it's first day back to school probably. But and also subscribe and click the bell. They always say subscribe and click the bell, click the bell, click swap, click squad, click squad, and notification. And so, but okay, let's get to the number one is go and find your classes on your class schedule you probably should do that well i kind of think when i first went to when i went to be a freshman in high school i went and found my classes part and this is like just like for middle school too this is kind of like if you're in middle school and you're trying to find your class do that before school started find your class if you already like i'm gonna say if you transfer and it's your first time i'll probably say just kind of like i was like the same because i transferred to another school i didn't know what a class but um yeah, it's very important because you don't want to get lost and you can't find. But sometimes they would give you maps. I think they would give you maps. I think it's certain schools. Um, number two, remember your locker combination number and your number of your locker. I had my first locker. I had one in middle school in the seventh and eighth grade, and I had one in high school. So all were doing high school, and every time I did the same from doing the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, twelve, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelve. Oh, especially in your first time being a freshman in high school. And then you don't necessarily have to decorate your locker because I really didn't decorate it in the ninth grade. I think I did it probably one time in 11 and the 12th. I think that was just, I need to decorate like a lot of stuff. I kind of didn't do that. I didn't able to like decorate because I just kind of like necessarily you don't need to do that. You got probably have like right in your journal on like, I remember one of the binder things, you could put it in your binder or I know you carry your phone because I know now that kids, wow, you have your phone. I know the school lets you have your phones with you. But put it in your phone, but I'm not saying you probably shouldn't, but I don't know. I just thought like you should write it down, have it, have like have your also your schedule too. You can put your take a picture of your schedule and put it on your phone or on the screen and do something like that. Um, I don't know, but I know in college you could do that. High school you can because I know when I was in high school, I didn't like have a phone, so I never did. I, I carry my schedule in a binder, one of them slot binders. If you put them clear things, you put inside. That's how I kind of like carry my schedule with me around everywhere. I go. Number three, have supplies in your backpack. You have to have all your supplies with you. Just have like one thing supplied on your first day, and and that's really it technically. But still have a backpack. You have to still carry a backpack with you. Just have on your first day. Just have a notebook, paper, a folder. Cause that's why I kind of had a pencil and a pen. So that's one thing you remember we had like a planner too. I know some schools, I remember in high school, my plan, I had a planner in high school. They gave us planners cause the school, like I said, the school I graduated. So, but um, yeah, have that. If they don't get, if the schools don't have planners, you buy your own planner and have it or make your own. Okay, for number four, make new friends. Uh, look this up online about that. It says make new friends, but the one that I said, don't make too many. Stay contact with other friends, with your old friends. Make too many friends because sometimes you have to like. In high school, I know in high school you have to make new friends. If your friends not going to the same school you are, just stay contact with. You. Still make new friends because you don't want to just like stay contact with your old friends because you don't know. You know, you you growing up is different from when you be in middle school. Number five, br bring backup personals personal stuff with you you know for your first day because sometimes you got that like you know if you got like, a stain or something or if you're a girl you on your period just bring like a backup some personal stuff with you at school for number six don't be afraid to try new things because i on especially in ninth grade i didn't challenge myself to when i was first time being a freshman i never did Ugh, challenge myself because I was going to before I transferred to like for basketball in, in the ninth grade I was going to do that because but still challenge yourself do it just focus and work hard and you comfort your comfort zone of who you are number seven keep yourself fresh I know I already said it's for school to to smell good so nobody be saying like I want to smell something like that just have something bring that with you at school uh, but number eight try and try 
try in school, like try really hard, learn something, thank yourself when you when you get into college of your dreams up to online and um and you probably should if you want to if you want to go to college it's your choice really try work hard in school don't play around in school too much because stay don't don't do it but still have fun being young as a teenager do have fun and get an education but don't put too work too much hard on yourself but still try hard learn and do really good and you will finish high school i didn't try that much hard i kind of did but i did finish high school so i should have tried much harder but i try not to do that because of having like you know having a learning problem when i'm growing up i try not to push myself too hard because i like to just concentrate and, and not to push myself so but don't do the same thing but try number nine um you're not in middle school anymore don't act like it. but why i said it with that one is that you can't act like from in your middle school you had to act like a high school growing up and you had to do that and it's you it's changing you're going to be a freshman after that it's going to it's got to do all that stuff the same stuff again it's gonna be a little different it's gonna feel weird I didn't know this like I felt life at the same way I went being a freshman is so way different from middle school it is and you're gonna feel like they're just like in college college gonna be like the same way different from high school number 10 be kind to everyone no bullying so i guess you don't want to be to be mean to people you need to just especially in high school sometimes you have to stand up for yourself but you don't bully the person just be kind to everyone. Never. don't try i mean don't try hard don't try hard to take selfies you are being from this i have to try really hard to take selfie pictures i honestly it's a good way to make memories but sometimes you have to kind of like, especially if you're a freshman, you want to make memories. You don't necessarily have to try really hard to take selfie pictures and put on your friends and followers that can be scams. And they might not be the real people in there. Real people don't, don't care what people say about you. That's what I'm going to say that too. You might know what I'm talking about. Don't care what people say about you or who you are. Mm -hmm. Be proper doesn't mean you need to be, a, it, I mean, be popular doesn't mean you doesn't make you system. sometimes it can be i don't say that sometimes it can be but sometimes it's gonna be hard be yourself but saying we don't necessarily have to be proper i know some schools have people that's popular or some of that but technically just be yourself you understand and you don't have to be mean to people because and love like care about if you're number 14 take care take a lot of pictures with your friends like your classmates 15 I know I said 14, but 15, get on, get on your teacher's good side. They are, they are there to help you whether you believe it or not. And they, some teachers do care about you, some probably don't, but if you, if they believe in you and they know that it, you can make it into something. 16, respect your parents. That's the most important. 17, be honest with yourself. It's about that, be honest. And because if you don't be honest with yourself, you don't be honest to a lot of people. But number 18, watch what you say on social media. Said it to y'all. Yeah, watch out for that. So during my time, doing social media was way different at the time when I was in high school. It was not that much going on with people being on social media a lot in uh, my generation. Um, number 19, don't, don't drink or do drugs. Don't do that because that is not good for yourself. And you don't have to do what other people kids be doing like if you're a teenager drugs is not good. number 20 respect your body dress cute but not too much in school they they got dress code so take me you you can still dress cute for me i didn't dress that much cute i think and for me in high school i was kind of slash like edgy and girly i, I was kind of a little bit like kind of edgy and girly a little bit because i wasn't really i was still like dressing cute but i wasn't dressed that much because I don't know, I just, I, I respect my body, so I don't like dress like that much, a little bit. I just kind of dress what I want to wear. So what you, just wear what you want to wear, but you can you still dress. Um, number 21, don't worry about having a boyfriend or a girlfriend. People, people sick, especially at your age. You don't have to rush to have a boyfriend or girlfriend. You don't. Because that's why I kind of, I thought about that in high school. I used to like, I'm going to have a boyfriend in high school. And I didn't have none all the way to when I graduated. At that time, some some I don't know. I just kind of like being single, 
and do things for myself and also it's okay to have a guy friend i had some guy friends but i think some want me to be friends and and some see me i didn't really didn't like them but other guys i seen them as like friends and some probably didn't have friends but if i did have friends for them they didn't have friends for them. like maybe out of high school sometimes it might be during your senior year or maybe 11th grade but you don't necessarily have to have a boyfriend in high school 22 i'm almost done 22 it's okay to be confused in any subject you're not stupid it's okay to be confused i was the same way doing every subject i take classes in high school and being a freshman i was the same it's going to be hard the first time but the, another thing you're going to understand is just going to take time for you to understand because i was like that and you stupid you are not you're not dumb you are smart i'm gonna say this to y'all you are smart you're not dumb and you is going to work really hard in that subject in your class for number 23 Turn in your homework and study too, because you got to do that. Uh, 24, rewrite as much as possible. It helps in college prepare. I didn't read it much in high school. I really didn't like to read, but I think if you post it, because if you want to go to college, you have to like read and write. Technically, I did like to write, uh, not that much. Reading, I didn't like to read it a long time, but I know you post it because it's posted if you want to go to college. Um, but do that. So on 25. Enjoy, enjoy every minute in high school. You will miss it when it's over. You have to enjoy high school. Do that. I had I had an enjoyment in high school. Sometimes I, I didn't want to go to school. Sometimes I didn't enjoy it. But technically, cause I, it's probably because we had to like stand up. I didn't like to stand up in front of people because we had to prepare like an assignment in front of in class. You enjoy high school. Make memories. Make fun memories. I had a lot of that take pictures i was in the yearbook and some certain things i was in clubs and those. i know i didn't play sports but still make mirrors and try and do a lot of things so i regret if you don't so I, some things i do regret i should have did but just y'all enjoy just kind of like i would say this is that have fun in high school make good memories don't make bad memories but make good ones um i know that i'm late on putting this up behind like this video put in the comments um ask me an opinion or something in the comments or tell me how was your first day of school put in the comments below S subscribe and click the bell notification and uh follow me on instagram because i'm trying to grow that i keep losing it and go ups and down but go and follow me on instagram and my twitter account and snapchat but i'm gonna probably do a video about this because i'm probably going to do an update about my twists and how it looks i don't know it might be probably it might be probably like next week i might do a, a update on my twists how it looks because technically it looks good and i might take it down makes it looks like curly i'm trying to wait until i wash my hair again probably next month and i probably will like do that but uh i don't know i just have to wait and see i don't want to tell y'all well, and i'll see y'all in my next video bye y'all also love yourself be you boo be you be you and you have to do for yourself so